Cooperate with me today, please. Oh my fucking god, I hate Dishonored. I love Dishonored, but I hate it. Okay, fine. We're going to actually just start the game in the middle of the stream while while we're streaming. Like, actual stream quality be damned because it's the only way I can get it to fucking work. <sighs> At least this will be the last time I ever have to actually play these games on stream. At least after this, I will never be playing Dishonored on stream again. It'll be... It'll just be me playing the game. On my own time. And there goes that friendly lag as a result of this honor having to be launched while I'm streaming. Uh, Alright, so... Welcome to New Game Plus. Oh, I'm going to totally play this game probably for years to come because I love it so much. Um... So we're going to start from campaign one, but we're going to import this new save into slot two. And we're going to play on easy just to be able to get a chance to show off uh, what we're going to do. Because I, I will have to beat the first mission before uh, we get to the cool part. separate just to differentiate we're going to play as daddy we're going to play as as daddy corvo sad dad corvo but we're going to skip the story bits because i just kind of want to show off why this mode is cool what happened alexi the throne room. Emily. Also, congrats to Steven wrong. Russell for his voice as Garrett, the thief, and getting the role of Corvo because has a way of people sour. really like Garrett from Thief for some reason. Delilah took away the marketing. Uh, is Lady... Yeah, boy. Disloyal dogs. Throne room blocked off. You should have the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. I love that a woman's ring fits him like a glove. Like, is that Emily's signet ring that we just put on our on our flesh? <laughs> Emily, I'll make this right. I promise. Now let's eat a bunch of food to get our health back up. I mean, to be fair, this probably is what Corvo would do in this situation. I mean, he's been known to go to extraordinary lengths for Emily before. So... I do like that they get a different snow dialogue. 
of course he gets his fucking stupid mask. Uh, we saved Yasider. We chose to, to kill the god and save the man he called. Also, welcome. Thank you for, for joining us. Um, so, since we beat the game, I'm going to just demonstrate a bit of why I like the New Game Plus feature they added. So I decided I'm going to talk about New Game Plus and Dishonored for a bit, but to do that I had to actually beat the first mission. But yeah, we chose to save the Outsider. I don't know what it is with sad dads and going on genocidal rampages. That's a good question. Um, I can't honestly say. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. It is night, and then we're playing on easy just so I can um, better beat this level quick and then demonstrate. Hey, buddy! Hey! You're not fit for that watch uniform. I will probably play this game on my own time in a separate New Game the Plus file because the Duke's men. Corvo is lame. Find a ship. Ramsey's dead. Corvo Moore, check the royal court. Corvo Atano, the loudest man in Dunwall, coming for you, my good sir. Oh yeah, I can, but I, I will replay this game not as Corvo because God no, who wants to play as this old fool? Emily's a cooler with protagonists with cooler powers anyway. Hey! Whoops. My finger slipped. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, 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 boy! Get some! Get some! Get some! See? And that is how you beat the first mission completely silently and without killing anybody. Lord Atano, you want to hear what I've got to say. I guarantee it. Lord Protector. We'll leave soon, but not just yet. Aw, oh, you... Okay! Great. Whoops. I don't think I was supposed to do that. I don't think I... I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that. Forgive me for saying. Let's go. <laughs> I know you killed that police. Oh, 
Oh, you guys got... I'm gonna shut up for this, for this scene where Corvo meets the Outsider. Because, like, the Outsider... Is the biggest fucking troll ever. I remember this endless cold. I'm gonna have to shut up for a second. You might as well show yourself. Corvo, old friend. Don't even have to say it. You've lost another eye press. <laughs> You lost another empress. I love this, like, at this, like, frenemy relationship going on between the outsider and Corvo right now. It's actually pretty good. Remember, Delilah took the mark from him, so he needs to get it back. There you are, my love. Oh, so he knew it was Jessamine the whole time. Cool. I actually like the way the outsider um ended up um. In Death the Outsider. I think that was a pretty cool um, direction to take that character, if I'm being Just perfectly honest with you. If all I can hear are the last echoes of your voice, that's enough. Only the last of my echoes with you for a while. If oh. all I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have to call her. Why am I watching this? No, the outsider is not Moby Dick. Um, the outsider, uh, you should watch the the previous stream when this is over, and it'll tell you what the outsider is. Although, I'm probably gonna have to ask, answer some questions afterwards. I didn't have a, an audience to play off of, so I just kind of talked about what I thought was interesting about it. The Outsider is basically a boy who was cursed into becoming a god. <clears throat> Just when you think you've got it all figured out. Just as you're starting to relax. Shut up, Corvo. Didn't ask for your fucking opinion. Well, Dr. Fate, isn't he like the amalgamation of, of uh, a man and a, and a god? So let's get to the cool part of this. So as you can see, I have 41 ruins, which is the combination of the two I picked up just now, um, along with the complete uh, collection of every ruin I ever spent, um, and every ruin I had left over from my previous run. 
But as you can see on the left hand side. Even though I am playing as Corvo. And I have his complete skill set. I also have available for, op for choice. All of Emily's moves as well. So no matter which character you play as in New Game Plus. You have the combined skill sets of both playable characters. Which, hu which is a huge bonus for subsequent runs. And because you have the runes you you unlock you ha you um you brought in from the previous run, that basically gives you an entire suite of useful moves from the very beginning of the game. And just having all of that power dramatically improves your quality of life in subsequent runs of the game. And as you keep doing runs, you can eventually just start with having everything unlocked from the start. Plus, um... Yes! And most importantly, Kelly, you can play as Emily and use Blink and never use Far Reach or anything but grabbing things and grabbing enemies. You never actually use the traversal part of Far Reach ever again. Um, but the other cool thing about New Game Plus is... See if I can actually show off this part. If I need to actually get a bone charm first to do it, um, if I craft bone charms, no, I need to actually get some raw whale bone. Oh, I get sacrifice a ruin for some whale bone right now. So if you look at, if I craft a bone charm, every single trait that I disenchant from a bone charm in the previous run is available for use. So not only do you start with a huge set of powers, you others already potentially start off with a whole host of incredibly useful bone charm effects. For example, I could start this run with a level four strong arms bone charm. And just craft it. And this is why, like, this is one of my favorite games to play through again and again. Is because... The subsequent playthroughs are, are like, so much less restricted... Than the previous playthroughs. Let's see. Let's take possession. Sure. I also think possession is probably a better power overall than Shadow Walk. Even though I like I think Blink and Possession are Corvo's best two moves. And basically his only useful moves. I don't see I guess, actually, no, Time Stop is also a very useful move. Now that I'm actually thinking about it. Like, he has three good moves. Which, compared to Emily's, like, all of them are good moves. It's just not enough. But I can... Wait, did I, did I actually pick Devout... No, I picked... Shit! This is, this is Devouring Swarm. That's not what I wanted. I wanted Possession. Oh, well. Yeah, you can you can already start the game with like several high level moves. Like, and we're going to just to demonstrate that we can use Emily's move. We're going to put Domino in the, in the tool set too. Uh, let's put Domino in the seventh slot, and never think about devouring swarm ever again. And just having all these options available right from the start, it's it opens up what you can do. 
Um, so if I ever play this, um, since it's only runes that carry over and not raw whalebone, what you really should do before you uh, go into a new game plus is go in, disenchant all your bone charms, and then turn them into runes. So that way you can come in with as much uh, material as you can possibly come in with. Ready for me to drop you at the docks. And that's what I would actually do if I was doing this for reals. Ready. But for now, this is good for, for the stream purposes until we're we're finished. One more time, old friend. Also, I love Corvo and his stupid fucking death mask. Corvo's stupid fucking death mask. People actually talk about it in, in the level, like, what are you doing with that mask on? Like, you're not, you're not stealthy, dude. Stop it. You're just scaring the whole population. Skip. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. You know the skipper? Is that too much to ask? So let's have some fun. Go find some people to beat up. I am being hunted by half the people in the Empire. Are they welcome to the fight if they find me? So here's me as Corvo. From the time of the rat play. Using Emily's domino skill. Here's me. As Corvo. Possessing a dude. Okay! <laughs> Uh, what happened, Kelly, to, to answer your question, is um, he went to throw the rock, and the rock is seen as a hostile enemy threat to the Wall of Light. And so it shocked him to death, along with the rock, because he happened to be in the, in the vicinity. I don't have enough for it, unfortunately. Yeah, if you throw objects into the wall of light, it triggers. Um, so... Oh, hi.
Okay, I might have gone a bit too overboard. Sad face. But you understand the point, is that, um... This is probably the best possible example of a New Game Plus I've seen in a very long time. Just uh, in the way that it lets you do basically whatever you want. And the more you and the more you play, the more powers you can unlock from the very start. Which just increases your your overall power level. Licentious fool. Uh, can you walk over those gates when you're possessing somebody? That's a good question. Uh, let's go back a couple saves and see if the answer is yes. I believe you can walk safely through with possession, but let's find out. That's a good question, Nicole. Oh, this is too far. You need to find a mana potion, that's all. Let me just go farther back, that's also fine. Yeah, we'll, pro we'll end the stream of testing out possession. Oh, never mind. Fuck this. Uh, I need to find a mana potion and we'll try it out. For realsies. I do think it's really cool to get into a big fight and then escape by possessing one of the people that's, that's in, in theory, supposed to be trying to kill you. Is, so spotty's gonna yeah my station this should take me out to the institute Persistent, aren't you? Then let's stop running. Killing spree. Deaths are expensive.
need to find an Adamire uh, potion. This must be the alchemist's apartment. Alexandria Hypatia. There's gotta be an Adamire solution here. In the fucking head the scientist's apartment. Up, yeah, there we go. So, there's got to be a guard left. You know what? Bend time and then mass murder is also a really fun way to end a fight. You're right, Kelly. I It's been there for a while. I just wasn't um, reading the stream. That is also a really fun way to end a fight. Uh, hey! Let's run an experiment. Hello, old friend. No, you can use possession to safely bypass the wall of light. There's your answer, Recall. I'm sorry, but now that I'm in the carriage, you can't actually touch me. And that's how we go off into the good night. So if you've beaten Dishonored 2 already, give New Game Plus a shot, because honestly, you're worth it. And with that, um, thank you all for coming, even though this was uh, an impromptu um, send-off this honored. Um, I'm glad you guys uh, came out just to talk about New Game Plus for a bit, and, it's, and just um, how awesome it is that this game mode was added in later. Because this, this didn't come out. Um, this, didn't co this wasn't part of the base game. New Game Plus um, was added as a free update. Like about half, like a couple months after Dishonored 2 came out. Um, the next game is a secret autistic, but thank you for your interests. Um, I still have to coordinate with some of the people that I've, I've asked to come in with me for the next game. Uh, hopefully, it will start soon. But I think you guys will be excited to see what we have what we have next in in the portfolio. Uh, cause, um, especially people who know me for a long time, uh, this has been a long, like what the stream that we're going to do next is a long time coming, but it is a secret for now. So hush, hush, don't tell anybody. Um, until then take care and I will see you guys next time.